Hi, today I'm going to be painting with this large Chinese hake. It's about three inches wide, as you can see compared to my normal hake brush. Um, it's made of goat hair, exactly the same as the other hake. Um, so I'm going to see what I can do with it. Please be warned that I'm afraid I cut the top off in the first part of the video. I'm very sorry about that, as I say, still new to filming and only using my phone to film. So um, all you miss is one swipe across the top of colour. It's a fairly flat wash, so it's quite easy to follow. And here we are. We've got a nice thick mixture onto the wet paper of... Payne's Grey, Prussian Blue and a touch of Ultramarine to take some of the coldness out of the Prussian Blue to sort of grey it up a little bit and literally just carefully sweep across with the very wide hake and then maybe just push a bit more texture in. I'm just experimenting with this big brush really so just going to see what it can do and see what happens on the paper which is 15 inch by 11 inch Milford paper, lovely paper, it's my favourite at the moment, £140 and cold pressed. Right, I've washed the brush out a bit and just using cleanish damp water, I'm going to bring the paint down in a more sort of graduated wash and then I'm taking my normal medium hake brush, clean and damp, just to clean up the horizon line a little bit more. As you can see, gravity is pulling the paint down quite nicely into a sky wash, which is looking quite interesting. All right, same colours again on the three inch hake while the paint's still wet, um, just to sort of see if we can get some distant tree effects in. It's looking a little bit blocky at the moment, but it should soften down add a few more sort of dark colours into that and they should all diffuse together hopefully. Be careful because like me there it just can be very square topped so you have to use the corner of the brush and lift it, curve it a bit uh, just to make sure that the distant trees have got a more of an organic shape to them. Again, take the medium hake, clean and damp, and just gently sweep it across the bottom just to, to clean that line up a bit for the horizon. And there we are. Thank goodness we've got the whole painting in now. Just add a bit more water to the same colour and sweep it across with the hake just to give the look of the land. It was supposed to be dry brush, it's gone on a little bit wet but I still think it looks quite nice. Then a couple of streaks just across the top. And I'm intending on putting some trees in the distance, or in the mid, mid, mid ground, on the left. Right, the hate now, as you just saw, I've dipped it into a few colours. Prussian Blue, Payne's Grey, Burnt Sienna, not blended on the brush and just stroking it lightly on the paper and it gives us this nice simple effect of twigs and foliage just sticking through the snow in places. As it dries, it dries nice and light but still with some brightness if you use fairly thick paint for this. And then take the rigger and pull up some sticks and twigs and grasses from those points. Not too much, but just enough to balance the picture out. Well, I think that's about it at the moment for this stage with a few more little grasses and things. Um, I'm going to put in the mid-ground trees, but I'll speed that up because it's literally just going to take quite a long time to record and it's just using rigger brushes, the same colours, and putting in tree branches. Right, that's 
just about done. Maybe just pull up some very slight, slightly longer grasses. And now here we see a few trees going in on the left. We get some smaller ones towards the distance. A little bit of detail, not too much. Varying the shades of blue and grey, and a little bit of burnt sienna, just to give the trees more of a realistic look. The distant trees now, quite faint there. Finally, a little fence, just going off into the distance, sticking out of the snow as a finishing touch. I've taken the medium hake brush and scrubbed it into just some very weak palette grey paint and I'm literally just touching the ends of the branches with it just to give the idea of a few dead leaves and all the fine twigs at the ends of the branches. I'll dry a little bit lighter than that so it should look fairly effective. Maybe some slightly darker grey just around the bottom. A little bit more, yeah, just some darker spots. Just some shadow. That's the finished painting. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Bye.